This training video will guide you through what information is stamped on our tensioners, why the information is added and what it means. Each tool component is stamped with its own part number. The tensioner's part number refers to the drawing number our designers allocate to create that particular tool. All of the part numbers or drawing numbers have four parts. The first part is always HTT dot. This depicts that it is a bolting solutions drawing number. The second part is the main number which identifies the tool. The third part of the number is called the extension number. This can generally indicate the size of the tool or the component. However, if it is dot triple zero, then it is either the tensioner range or the complete tensioner. The final part is the letter which indicates what revision the tool is at. Revision changes are based upon design changes that have been requested after the original drawing. A record is kept of these changes, but when a revision is moved up a letter, for example A to B, the previous revision cannot be provided. However, if a previous revision is required by the customer, then a new drawing will need to be issued with the previous design requirements. The body of the tool will not only have its component number, but also the complete tool number. The serial number will be stated on the body of the tool. This is the file reference number, which is also used as a quotation number. This gives us a complete traceability of the tool from inquiry to dispatch. Other details stamped on the body of the tool include MWP, maximum working pressure. HPA, hydraulic pressure area. MWL, maximum working load.